Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week seven. Um, uh, let's just go over what we're getting into this week. So, first and foremost, these this video will be posted here. Um, we are talking now about heat loss and heat gain. So, last week we calculated the cost of the utility shed to build, and that's if we were building it with well, building it ourselves, not hiring a contractor to do it because that would add additional cost. But now we want to talk about heat loss and heat gain of that utility shed. So there's a PowerPoint and you're going to be working through that PowerPoint talks about heat transfer, um, the different types of heat transfer. Um, then it talks about a heating system designs, goes into BTUs, what is a BTU, and then how to calculate um, how to calculate the heat load of a of the building of the wall so this is just for a wall with no windows or doors talks about all the r values of that wall so every part of that wall the interior so you've got the siding the insulation the drywall all that kind of fun stuff and then calculating through that using um, the engineering design data which is given to you and then calculating total heat loss and we're going to go over that in class but there is a worksheet that is assigned with that um you just complete it turn it in while filling out the work uh, while <laughs> reading the powerpoint so you work through this fill it out turn it in when completed um then this is example um engineering weather data sheet so this is weather data that you will be using for your assignment this week, you will have to reference this document. We've got R values and density chart. So this will talk about all the different R values and densities of different materials dealing with um, the wall sections or masonry material or anything on the exterior of the home. So you can see here plywood has an R value of 1.24. You'll need that. Not necessarily that one in particular, but you'll need these numbers to complete the assignment. So you'll have to reference this as well. So here is that assignment I was talking about, the heat loss from the utility said transfer load worksheet. So I'm going to open this up and it has the directions inside. Um, I walk you through. So how this document is set up is it walks you through the first example the first problem in it and then the rest are just the same and how you would walk through it but i don't walk you through step by step so you can see step one are calculate the total r value for each surface including the four walls the door and windows and the ceiling and roof structure so here you go so for if we go down to the bottom this is the chart that will have to be completely filled out so you calculate one wall at a time so you've got the wall the west wall east wall north wall south wall ceiling roof doors and windows so this right here this whole document walks you through how to calculate the west wall step by step in a lot of detail so that you understand what's going on um so it talks about all of the different layers of that wall and the first step is to calculate the r value so we get the r value now we have to go and calculate the u factor so convert all r values to u factors and again in the powerpoint it goes over how to do this um do not round to the third digit if the r value uh for a given wall is point uh, 12.70, um, the U factor should be, that would be used as 0 0.078. Then you got to calculate the area, put that there. Then um, design temper, uh, temperature differential, you would put that there. Transmission load here. So then you would start over again, do it for east wall, do it for north wall, do it for south wall, everything. And then finally, you would get me the total transmission load at the bottom. So those are the assignments that you are doing this week easy first one worksheet fill it out with the given powerpoint and then with the rest of the week either you can print this assignment out and then plug in the uh, data later or you can do it all on the computer if you do decide to print it out i would really like to see some of your work so if you could take a picture and insert your pictures into the document itself for the transmission load worksheet i would really like to see that um, i want to make sure that if you get an answer wrong i'd like to see where you got it wrong and if i can give you some credit for it when finished this is just the steps to downloading revit on your computer at home i'm going to make sure this week that everybody has revit installed on the computers at school 
And then you can, once you have it installed, you can try doing the Utilities Shed Design Part 1. But that is everything I have for you this week. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, I will see you guys in class. And yeah, hope you guys have a good week.